Hi, and welcome to Mod of the Week. This week we're doing aftermarket headers. I've already done my shield and pipe wrap on this header. This is the FMF Mega Bomb. FMF also makes a power bomb that has a same concept but has a smaller bomb. There are two companies that I know of that make aftermarket headers. I mean, there are others, but there are only two really worth noting. The one is this Japanese company that makes a header with a dip in it. Just because the header is very long and has that, that extra motion in it, it allows it to get a lot more torque at low RPMs. Most dirt bikes, or even the BR, as a dual sport, has this dip that comes out in front of the bike just to add a lot more length onto the header and to give it more friction to keep the exhaust gases in there so it can suck out that last little bit of exhaust gas at once the valves both pop open. Maximize the scavenging effect. And the other company is FMF and their bomb exhaust. If you were to look inside this, the normal exhaust pipe continues through it and has a few holes drilled into it going into here, just like it would be in a normal traditional stock muffler. Simplest way to put it is that it changes the way the exhaust gases flow depending on their velocity. If they're traveling very slowly, they will go into this bomb and just kind of get caught up, have more friction and get stuck in there so that then there's still something to pull out that last little bit of gas. But if the exhaust gases are going really fast, it kind of just ignores these holes. Due to jetting effects, it's very hard to change the direction of particles traveling in a stream, especially if they're very concentrated and moving very quickly. That's the design problem. That's why it's right after this curve. Although I've heard from a lot of people that it doesn't necessarily improve torque. At best, it kind of keeps it the same, which is good because it does improve horsepower mainly just because the pipe's bigger. So if I line these two headers up, the aftermarket Mega Bomb tracks a bit further from the engine, so it sticks out probably about half an inch farther forward. It tends to get in the way of the hoses, and you have to usually move those. And it also has a tendency to get in the way of Kickstarter. So depending on if you need more torque, in all honesty, once you do a 351, you don't need any more torque, but you do need the extra horsepower, so you can drive 90 whenever you feel like it. So here's my final presentation of my FMF header. As you can see, I had to move these hoses out a little bit. Fortunately, the DRC hoses are a bit longer, so I was able to kink them out. Usually you have to rotate them so that then they are forward for the OEM hoses. Kickstarter hits in the top right here. FMF does recommend if this does happen, moving this back, I might fiddle with it a bit more, but that's pretty good for me. You know, this extra mass here isn't noticeable as far as riding goes. It doesn't seem to run into my leg anymore, but I would recommend definitely trying to figure out some sort of heat shield for it because it does stick out a lot further. It's a lot easier to touch. And I guess there's one little benefit and it's usually this bomb part stays a little bit cooler than the rest of the exhaust tubing, but it is extra space and you always want to protect yourself. All right, well, thanks for watching. This has been Mod of the Week.